What's up, everybody? Okay, well, I loaded up OSB in a different OBS in a different way, so I don't know if you guys heard me heard me say hi. But in any event, welcome back. I'm kind of. I don't, I don't, I don't do the whole OBS thing as well as I probably should. And I don't really know how my voice and stuff is showing up or here or how it hears on your guys' end. So if you guys have problems hearing anything, let me know. But anyway, man, welcome back to uh, Jacket Alliance Two, One Point One Three. Um, let's load everything up here. So if you weren't here during the last episode, let me get my map up here. Okay. <clears throat> so again, Jagged Alliance 2, you play as a bunch of mer mercenaries that are going into this uh, country to kind of liberate it from this chick named Deirdreana. And the team that I have right now consists of only two guys. Uh, my custom guy, which is codenamed Snake, and this guy right here named Shadow, which is a stereotypical uh, merc that you can order, <laughs> basically. Let me turn down the music, man. I don't know if... I don't know how things sound on your guys' end, but on my end, I, I, it might just be my audio equipment, but <clears throat> whenever I do these streams and stuff, I wear a, a headset that has a mic on it. Um, hold on just a second here. I'm trying to remember what version of headset that I wear. <clears throat> I can't remember, man. But anyway, it's got a microphone on it, so I, I, I'm not one of those guys on YouTube that has you know, the big multi-thousand dollar AV equipment and shit. I'm just some guy out in the middle of nowhere that's recording this shit, so <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can hear it okay. <clears throat> anyway, back to the main point. Um, yeah, this is Jack Alliance 2, and... Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's basically a game where you hire a bunch of mer mercenaries to go in and liberate this country from this chick named Deirdreana, who's essentially trying to take it over and subject everyone to her will. <clears throat> These are my two guys. Um, Snake's the custom guy that you can kind of make without ordering from the, uh, the merc uh, <laughs> shop, if you will. Shadow is one of the guys that I ordered, though, more or less. <clears throat> Um, we started off in Omerta, took out that first sector. The second sector was already kind of quote-unquote liberated by the rebel group. We, we rendezvoused with them, the tally down to the airport right here after taking out a small squad over here. And the reason I went over here first is because I had it in my mind that this was where a helicopter pilot was <clears throat> that, I, that I'm familiar with that I try to... I can't remember if he's in this... this uh, sector or a different one but he's around here somewhere and once we find him he essentially uh allies with us and he starts flying the helicopters <clears throat> or the helicopter whenever we need him to um which is good for us because it helps us on travel time um but that said though i after i got done with this sector i went in took out the first then the second and then the third and in the third is where the the uh the mining operation is <clears throat> and as you can see we've got a daily income now of 1100 I did a little bit of a che cheat ski poo and gave myself a little bit of cash <clears throat> and I'm trying I'm gonna try to do that only once but my justification is this man if if you're okay so the dude who basically hired the mercenaries he started off with like 30 grand or 60 grand I can't remember what it was and in a realistic scenario where you're sending in some some mercenary group to liberate an entire fucking country, I would like to think that you're going to have more than like a hundred grand to work with. Okay, so <clears throat> that's my justification for giving giving me the uh, the cheat there. And again, I'm going to try to do that only once because <clears throat> I don't. I was kind of wanting to make this this uh, this game that I'm streaming or not streaming but recording kind of somewhat legit. I don't want to do a whole bunch of restarts and things like that, so I want to try to keep it as honest as I can, but within reason, okay? So this gives me a little bit of play, play or a little bit of uh, elbow room, lets me 
probably hire on at least a couple more uh, mercenaries if I want. Order some better equipment, stuff like that. <clears throat> so anyway, that's where we are right now with that, with this. And before I move on to anything else, what I'd like to do is train some uh, local militia. That way they can kind of keep the fort secured while I uh, go do my next um, my next mission, which I think is going to be over here in Shitsina. Sh because it's only got two sectors here, and plus I believe it's also got a, a, a mine of its own. So that'll give me, give me some more income as well. So that's kind of what I'm going to do right now. So let's kind of get square away first. So this is Snake. Um, right now, both of my guys have PSG-1s. Which is a pretty common uh, sniper rifle. And what I'm going to do is get everyone positioned here. You'll see why here in a second. Okay. So let's get him right here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because when I get everyone to start training the militia, I want these guys to be positioned in such a way that um, they're as as far as they're out of the way as much as possible. Because whenever you put everybody to be assigned to train militia, you want to be careful about how you do that because if you just put them anywhere, what can sometimes happen is that the sector that you're training the militia in will sometimes be raided by Deirdreana's forces. And if you don't have your guys position, positioned in a strategic way, they can kind of get ambushed in, in a really, really bad way. And that's what I'm basically trying to do here. Okay, now Shadow doesn't have any backup clips. And it looks like... Snake here has. Okay. Frig. Okay. <clears throat> so with with uh, Shadow, we currently don't have a backpack on him, unfortunately. So see, that's another reason that I didn't really feel bad about giving myself a cheat. So we're gonna have to kind of make do for a while here while we train some of the militia here. So here's what we're gonna do. Militia, training new militia, expenditure of 750. We're going to have him do the militia too. Double the effort here. Shut this down. Let's save real quick. Alright, so here we go. So now they're going to kind of get caught up on rest while they also train the militia as well. Now, in all likelihood, one of Deirdreana's squads is going to wind up coming in here and trying to raid, raid us at some point. Looks like we got an email. Okay, so Enrico Chivaldore is the dude who hired us to come into this country and do everything that we're doing here. And he's just, he's basically just saying, okay, yeah, great, see that you're making progress, blah, blah, blah. No big deal. Now, Spec is another uh, merc uh, organization, if you will. So you've got Merc, and you have AIM. AIM is the one that basically has the A-team of mercenaries that you can hire. Imp is... or no, Sorry, not Imp. Uh, let me see here. Merc is the other... Hello? One. Hello? Is this operational? Hello? Oh, wait. Now, which switch was it? Uh, bear with me. Anyway, Merc is the off-brand, if you will, okay? Now, on behalf of Merc- Shut up. Some of the guys on here aren't really that bad. They're just not really that great, you know? I thought there was a way to basically see everybody, but I guess 
Okay, seriously. Anyway, they've got some guys too that you can basically hire out. Now these guys come a little cheaper than the guys from AIM. The guys from AIM are your legit, you know, monsters. These these are the guys that all have like military backgrounds or criminal backgrounds, stuff like that. These are the guys that are actual killers. <clears throat> and these are the guys also that cost more too, unfortunately. But but they're all really awesome though for the most part. Um, the guy right now that I have rented out, if you will, is Shadow, which is this guy right here. Some of my favorites, though, um, I'm trying to see where everyone is here, because you got to remember, I've got this modded to the the common JA 1.13 mod, which is one of the popular mods for Jagged Alliance. So some of the guys on here are a little, a uh, little bit different. Not a whole lot different, but just a little bit. But S Scully's a good one. Um, let me see here. Magic is also another badass. That guy, I think, is... He's got military background, and I think Scully also has military background. Scully's from, I think, Australia. Um, Magic is... I can't really remember what his background is. Let's see what some of the other guys look like here. Yeah, there's Ivan Ivan is an, another good one. He's like a Russian KGB type of guy, I think, if I remember right. He's pretty good with heavy weapons. Gus, this, this guy named Gus Tarballs, with Jagged Alliance Vanilla, he's one of the best guys that you can order or rent, whatever you want to call it. He's he's just an all-around badass. Um. For the most part, though, I mean, that's... there's There was this lady... I think her name was Lens, if I remember right. She was essentially a sniper, and she was one of the best snipers that you can get. And I'm looking for her, but I can't... Unless I'm blind here. Let me look one more time, real quick. I think her name was Lens. Oh, Scope. I'm sorry. It's Scope. She is really awesome. She... I think... What was her background? Okay, so I guess she was a British special special air service person. I don't know, but I know that she's one hell of a shooter. Um, as you can see, her marksmanship's 99. So she's one of the best shooters that you can get. Especially early in the game, because she's not as expensive as some of the other dudes. Anyway, you get the point, man. So... <clears throat> Looks like Bobby Ray's has shipped our uh, backpack. So once we get done training here, what we'll do is we'll go back up to the airport, get Shadow his backpack, and we might submit one order for some goods. Because Bobby Ray's, whenever you, whenever you first start out, his their inventory isn't really the best. But after, like, I don't know, a day or two or something like that, their their inventory gets much better. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get some of these guys trained real quick. That's measurable progress. Okay, so he's apparently making some progress here. I don't. Usually, whenever you start seeing got this wrapped yeah, up. Yeah, see, so there Next. we go. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven militia now in. Uh, I guess what sector. D13. So we're going to try to do this for as much as we can. That way we can get the... Mind Some of us secure. just have it. Yeah, let's see, here we go. Okay. We know they're there. Right, 
It's just a question of finding them. It's obvious that the brunt of their their approaching or attacking force is going to be in this area. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get over here. Leave it at that. The snake. This backpack back on. Snake doesn't have as much agility and stuff like that, I think, as, as Shadow does. And plus, too, he's he's carrying a heavier load, too, because he's actually got a backpack on, too. Don't! Damn! Alright, now, just to give you some info here... These guys that are kind of glowing in red, that's obviously the enemy force. This guy that looks like an NPC, that's our militia. to take out the trash. kicking some ass. They don't they don't usually do as well as this. So I'm kinda surprised. Should we keep shadow right there? What I'm expecting them to do is have at least a couple that are going out through this to try to flank the main approach area. Just heard a noise.
snake for the most part's in position. Let's see if I can get Shadow here to. Unfriendlies. More opposition! More opposition! I was going to play RimWorld, man, but I was watching, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, um, Special Ops Lioness, they've started showing their second season, that, so far it's been pretty entertaining, so, so, so naturally I saw a bunch of dudes playing Special Ops stuff, so I figured, well, let's do that ourselves, alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Ah. Tagged ya! <laughs> We've got company. Chamber's empty. for a second because I didn't really have very many time units. Now, for anybody who hasn't played this game, the concept of time units, I don't know how popular it is nowadays. I know that in the early, uh, what was it, early 2000s, late 1990s, or <laughs> late 90s, I guess is a better way to phrase it. Um, time, the concept of time units was, was a pretty popular thing. I, I know that XCOM and all of the uh, UFO the UFO slash Terror from the Deep stuff made use of it. This game made use of it, and there were <clears throat> there were a few other games that made use of time units or action points, if you will. And basically, I I don't really know how to describe it except to say that it's just the number of points that you have to do things with per round. <clears throat> I think it was just the kind of it was a way to basically kind of have to provide players with the means to do a bunch of stuff without having to worry about doing it all at once. Because you got to remember, this is a strategy game. You're in charge of multiple different units or people. And it'd be impossible to play a game like that if it was all in real time, right? So in order to try to kind of leverage RPG elements in a game like this, with multiple characters, the 
next best way to do that would be to create some sort of apparatus that allowed you to do all of this stuff in a manageable way. And I guess that's how time units came up, or action points. I think XCOM refers to them as action points. But I know that this game refers to them as time units, I think. Is that right? I think. I don't know, man. But you get the point. It's just basically a number of, of points that you have in order to do certain do stuff per round. Per, uh, I don't know, attack round or whatever you call this action sequence that we're in right now. And your, your character statistics essentially determine how many action points you have. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Something's moving around. <laughs> okay, Shadow. Let's put this Let me catch my breath before I pass out. Yeah, this is an enemy free zone. And by the way, I figured out how to refill those stupid canteens too, by the way. I guess it's uh, control and the period button. So watch this. Or at the same time, I mean, then you can fill the canteens. So, let's get our guys back. I tell you what, this time, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of have them right here. Is that even a good decision? I think, let me see here, I think what I'll do is I'll put Snake up here. That way we have at least like one sniper nest, if you will. Because in all likelihood what's going to happen is that we'll get raided again, and when we do... Shit. When we do, the the uh, the guys, they're going to wind up approaching again from this area. So the shadow, I'm just gonna have him right here. The sniper rifle. That's primary. We're kinda getting low on ammo, man. <clears throat> see here, what ammo is that? That's 76251. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and this. Okay, so... I don't what Kerberos is. I, I don't think I've ever used Kerberos. Okay. I guess Kerberos is another way, I guess, to get smaller contracts, I guess? I think? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Right now, what I want is some weapons. So let's go back to Bobby Ray's, and let's see if he has some stuff that we can enjoy. God dang it. I still don't have sniper rifle stuff. That pisses me off, man. Not yet. Maybe they will at some point here before too long. Um. Well, we'll return to that. Let's get 
back on training the militia. And the boys better save it too. Got this wrapped up. Next. We know they're there. It's just a question of finding them. Just heard a noise. Something's moving around. thing we're going to do just take our night vision off Get our shades on we've got company Did it. Nothing left to kill. You know what? This time I'm just gonna put him over here. Okay, there we go. One thing I meant to do last time was look at the inventory in our sector here because I wasn't sure if there might be something here that we could use. See, that's the reason that I want to try to train militia, man. Because now they've got the airport now, too. I think one thing we might need to do is just break down and order and get some more people in, on the scene here, because... Finished here. I need something to do.
Some of us just have it. Got this wrapped up. Next. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and order two more people. Uh, let me see here. I'd really like to get scope. We'll go ahead and get links. Yep, Link's here. What's... How long a contract did you want me to consider? Okay, I'm all yours. So there's Link's. And... I'd like to get Ivan. Ivan Dulwich. Time. How much time? Good. Надеюсь, что это не обернется кошмаром. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and send Shadow and Snake to re-liberate these two sectors. And when we get up to the airport, we'll wait and rendezvous with Ivan and Lynx. We know they're there. It's just a question of finding them. betting man probably gonna be right in this area somewhere We've got company.
More opposition! This is an enemy free zone. This is a guaranteed combat area. Got enemies. This one will get hairy. The airport's always super fortified. I'm betting there's going to be at least someone over here. And there's probably going to be somebody around in this area, too. Think that damn numbers would be on our side at some point. <laughs> Jeez. Shoot. I, mean, I know that they're new and stuff, but you would think that at least one bullet would at least grace them. What a mess. Where's the dignity? I wish we had 
Shoot! say about your your rebel force <laughs> they're, they're too busy killing each other <laughs> time to take out the trash Yeah, that could have been bad, but I got me some kick-ass karma. <sighs> Did it. Nothing left to kill. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, uh, Shadow. I think we have a backpack for you. Sticking. He's got his backpack. So that's awesome. I'm half tempted to go over there. In fact, I think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and send Shadow now, or well, all of them, back over to here in Homeward Hut. So that we can get stockpiled or stocked back up on some ammo. This is a guaranteed combat area. We've got company.
Just heard a noise. Time to take out the trash. Yeah, that could have been bad, but I got me some kick-ass karma. Damn! <sighs> Didn't even say goodbye. Looked out there. Just heard a noise. Something's moving around. Shadow Northwest, so I'm assuming it's somewhere out in here, I think. Remember, there's at least one hiding somewhere nearby. Time to take out the trash! <laughs> okay, this isn't good. Shit. Yeah, that could have been bad, but I got me some kick-ass karma. Didn't even say goodbye. Have to keep our eyes open for the ones that still remain. Just heard a noise. Okay. 
drink, can't do anything. I'm just gonna die here. I said I wasn't pissed off. I guess this is how the cookie crumbles, though. Alright, come on. Seems to be stuck. Only they. It's done this before. This seems to be kind of like an old bug. I thought they'd patch it maybe with this update, but I guess not. But I tell you, man, that's the reason that I won't that I always wind up saving because of stupid shit like this. Can't do anything. Oh boy. <laughs> Early 2000s programming at its finest. The thing is, is that whenever it used to do this, if you waited for a while, it would eventually come back. But it's not really looking like it's going to work this time for some reason. Kinda sucks. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for now. <laughs> Hope hope you enjoyed the uh the episode. <laughs> oh boy. All right guys, well, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm going to have to kind of stop recording and get this figured out, but if I do another one of these, man, I'm thinking awfully seriously about restarting this whole entire game. This this run, I mean, because it took me a little bit of time to kind of refamiliarize myself with the commands and things like that. <laughs> so if I do wind up coming back to this, I'll, I'll I might give this this run one more chance because what you're seeing right here, like I said earlier, it's an old bug with this stupid game. It doesn't happen very often, man. But whenever it does, it locks up like this for a long time. And there's been times in the past when it would do this, and it would eventually come back and be you know, be responsive again. <clears throat> it doesn't seem to be doing that this time, though. And so I'll give this one more shot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording here in a second, <clears throat> try to take care of this offline. And if I can get it back, what I'll do is, is I'll load the game back up from uh, my last save point. 
and just try to go from there and hopefully take this sector back. But I feel pretty defeated right now, man, because not only did I have the upper hand with weaponry, but I also had the upper hand with general experience, and I don't know, it just didn't really go my way, I guess. Which kind of happens in this game sometimes. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> All that aside, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I think the next time I upload a video, it's probably going to be something in RimWorld. So we'll just kind of go from there and uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, hope your guys' week is going okay. And hope you're staying safe, staying out of trouble. And we will see you when we see you. Later.